to another ride along with goggles and uh, today we're in Salt Lake City at that big open pit uh, mine and we're going to take this uh, wheel loader here out to uh, the um, oil site in Moab out in the Thule's there so it's not real long about 280 miles I believe and uh, but we should uh, <coughs> excuse me get on with it Yeah, got a little, <coughs> something caught in my throat right there. Probably a nice, big, delicious grain of pepper. <laughs> yeah, I love my spices. Huh. Okay, so we're going to live. And uh, we got, the, this is the uh, MTG uh, 351 Peterbilt. So let's, uh, I think we're going to try and get out of here and swing around to the right. Do a big, tight turn here. I didn't expect to be getting loaded uh, inside the building. This looks totally doable. Uh, yeah, so there's the truck. We got her set up as a Tritum, which is kind of cool. And this skin, I never put it on Steam because it's a work in progress. I've never really... It's got some work. Needs doing. Anyway, let's, uh, so if you haven't been in this site before, you're about to get an eyeful of a pretty wild road out of here. I've come in here before, I've never taken a load out, so. What I did is I just flew on over here and plucked myself down at the uh, Green Goblin here. on here. I had it in high range. Uh, not going to work. Um, try and get out of here. Not running into too much stuff. Turn left. Look, you can see on the map already in that road up ahead that hill, that's what we're going to go up. We may be taking a little bit too much room here, but oh, I don't know. It is pretty hairy trailer. If anybody's coming, we're going to have a problem. That trailer is just, just going to miss that telephone pole there. Wow, that's close. So, we're going to have a little episode here too. Get around this corner. The whole deal is you got to get over early as you can because it takes a while for the back of the stinger to catch up with what you're doing up front here. So if you want to move it over, you got to get it over early. And so far, so good. Yeah, but we should try and get a photo here. Oh man, jeez, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hitting the wrong switches. I'm freaking out because I'm driving all over the road. Get ready for that corner up there. Here's a good place to take a photo. Got. Uh, we won't have all that stuff behind us. I hit the right switch, but I did it right in a big shadow. There we go. That'll work. Yeah, so that's quite a quite a sight. That mine. Four oh six B in here. What I was really trying to do is tonight. What I, yeah, I've spent uh, 
hour and a half trying to get something to work and that I wanted to do and I didn't get it, which is kind of frustrating. What I really wanted to do was haul the uh, haul truck chassis to here from Vernal. It's a special transport. And it just never came to pass because the... Uh, come on, turn off. Uh, what happened is, uh, as soon as I would start moving, the... Right. After 50 yards, turn right. It would say I'd gone off course. <laughs> I didn't even turn the steering wheel. It was just... Oh, it was so maddening. Oh, this will be a first. I don't think I've ever turned right out of this plant before. So, oh, that's cool. Turn right. Lots of room here. Is that all truck moving? Yeah, it is. Look at that. It's wandering along the road up there. Oh, the old Diamond Rio. I was going to use some Armin Cab over. <laughs> but I was really aiming for uh, a load that would have taken a, uh, a tritum. Like I was aiming for that 125,000 pound load. <laughs> it didn't happen, so the Marmon could have easily taken this. All those vehicles stuck behind that Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I don't really think I've ever been on this road. <laughs> Maybe something will jump out at me and tweak a memory, but I don't think so. So we obviously we've got the, uh, I haven't been in this profile for a while, <clears throat> but we've got the uh, vintage car pack in here, and the truck and trailer. Oh, and I saw a little blurb somewhere on, uh, I don't know if you remember, but quite a while back I, I did a mod, uh, I didn't put it out because I couldn't get it to load on Steam, but I guess I could do it on Truckee, but it's a uh, Go straight. Uh, traffic, uh, truck and trailer traffic pack of a whole bunch of my skins on a bunch of different trucks and trailers, and uh, well, not a bunch of different trailers, they're all just SCS box trailers, but a bunch After of different trucks, yards, turn right. and um, what happened was... Uh, the truck and trailer wouldn't spawn together. So you get one truck over here pulling a trailer from a different outfit and uh, a plain SCS truck pulling one of the trailers or a truck with a goggle skin on it pulling um, just a plain trailer. It was really goofy. So apparently what you gotta do when you... Oh, that's not bad. Oh boy. Never good. So anyway, what ended up happening was uh, uh, I saw a little burp somewhere. I just came across it. It wasn't. I, I wasn't looking for it. But a guy mentioned, uh, and it might have been in the uh, roadside studio for um, Mod Studio Two on their Discord. And uh, dude said uh, you got to make the trailer spawn rate 0 .001. Huh. And then the truck will pick up that trailer. So that's cool. So I've got to try that. Exit right ahead. Well, that's quite the intersection. Mm -hmm. 
So the load is 77,823. Now we're not going to have any problem with it because I kind of powered my truck for the uh, 100,000 plus load. So I don't think that's the same mine we were just in, but it's another big one there. Oops, going all over the road. beside us. Oh darn, I'm going to get boxed in by the slow pokes. I think this load is, uh, this job is uh, urgent. <laughs> I don't want to get trapped with these guys. I think we're going to have to turn off up here. We're going to Moab, so I don't think there's any point in trying to get around that guy ahead of us, because Sure, we'll turn off up here. Man, this is another piece of road I haven't been down in a long time. Uh, he just wiggled on out of the way. Keep right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Oh, come on. Exit right ahead. Oh, I gotta be in that. Oh, I think this lane will work. They're both turning lanes. I'll get around here nice and wide in case somebody comes up the inside of us. Oh, what the heck looks different here? this all change? That's... That's not the way it used to be. Oh, that's different. I'm sure that's been changed. That is, if we come out at the same intersection up here, I'm expecting, but I think we're going to head on through that light down there and out into the country past Price. Have a little look over our shoulder here. Yeah, I'm sure that's where we are. There's the Mick Old Donalds up there. <laughs> that's funny. I can't remember which one of my uh, kids it was. Maybe his older one. When she, when she was little, she would call McDonald's Mick Old Donalds. I guess from when that old McDonald had a farm, they must have learned that in school. McDonald's. It's Mick Old Donald's. It's pretty funny. Speaking of kids, tomorrow, today, the day you're watching this, is going to be a big day because my younger child is also going to graduate from university. Uh, the older one graduated graduated two years ago, but the younger one is. So that's quite an achievement. I'm, I don't know how to tell you how proud I am, but. Uh, pretty proud. That's well, going to be a big day tomorrow. Huh. No kids in school. Unbelievable. Think of that us for friendly. But I really like this truck. It's awesome. Let's see, there's gonna be an extended green coming the other way anyway. Yeah. 
Not like real life. It doesn't sense that there's nobody there. I see you. Oh boy. Tired. I had quite a day in the garage. I, uh, well, I wouldn't say quite a day. I got a reasonable amount of work done on those trailing arms, but, uh, ran into a problem. I, I was, uh, just about where I wanted to be for the day and uh, just about time to quit. Probably another half hour's work ahead of me and uh, oh, what are these guys going to do? He's going to wait. Keep right. And uh, the uh, oh, what do you call it again? The um, oh, the liner for the uh, wire feed for my uh, MIG jammed up and I've never changed it and uh, I guess it was just I don't know if it was a new spool of wire I had to go get the other day if it was had more dirt on it or more crap on the uh, coating you know they look really good when you get them it was plastic wrapped and everything so I don't know maybe it was just time Anyway, uh, it jammed right up, so I uh, I pulled the uh, wire out. I uh, disconnected it at the welder. I took the tip and everything out, and I tried uh, squirting uh, brake clean down it to see if I could get in to come out the other end, and nothing did. So it's obviously full of crud. So I don't think the uh, liner itself is broken. I think it's just full of stuff. Oh boy, we're gonna get in this lane before that guy gets here. But anyway, I gotta do something about it. This is pretty cool through here too. Very uh, interesting scenery. Try and drive from out here, not crash. <laughs> oh, the other day I was... Uh, commenting on a site on Recon's uh, Montana, Montana expansion map before there was a Montana DLC he had his map and uh, oops I better get back in here I'm gonna crash anyway he had his uh, map and we were commenting on something on it and reminded me I should go back and Look at an old video, I, because I did quite a few videos in his original map, and I just loved it. Like, it was so much fun. I, uh, you right. hear me say it in those videos, if you ever go back and watch them, you know, how much I enjoyed the terrain changes, like the elevation changes, and it was like actually driving in Montana, <laughs> as opposed to, oh, darn. I hate the scale because it uh, doesn't give you a whole lot of notice. Uh oh. One thirty seven, three forty nine. Let's go here. Oh, he, st he changed his mind. Oh, you dirty dog. But anyway, um, yeah, it was pretty cool to go and <laughs> see the old videos. And some of the old map, you know, to relive some old memories from before the Montana expansion uh, came out. No, sorry, the Montana DLC, which put an end to Recon's map. But uh, he's certainly done a lot of stuff since. And I guess the thing about what he's doing now is not quite so much scenery building Unless you think of things like Troy and the uh, Montana 200, 
uh, highway and things like that. Boy, we've got this thing rolling now. I wonder what parking's going to be like on the other end. So they're going to try and do something tricky for us. Because I was surprised to have to pull into the building. There's any other time I've offloaded at that site. You drive around the back side of the building like where we turned around came out you go in there and just drop off so you look and stay in way to the right on the way in so you can get the trailer around that's what I was doing and I'm looking over there going man I don't see that spot on the ground for the uh, drop off and I look left and there it is in the building and I hadn't gone so far that I could just swing back and then drag the whole thing into the building quite easily but if I'd have got another 20 or 30 feet, I would have been in a bit of a jam. We came down this road just the other day. Maybe even went through Moab, come to think of it. But uh, I was getting a little, you know, anxious about finding a job because, uh, wow, look at it's 10 after 11. I should be, uh, I should have had this thing rendered and uploading to YouTube by now. But I spent so much time fooling around trying to get the jobs I wanted. It just wasn't happening. I think I have the steering set up too well on this uh, profile. It doesn't feel right. I can have it working a lot better than some of the others. I should go back and see what I have. And uh, I think that Ruta profile I was in was pretty good. I don't think it's that this truck doesn't drive very well. This truck's fine. I got two beefs with this truck. <laughs> One is the template, and the other, the driver's way up on the wheel there. He's not even sitting back in his seat. That's kind of goofy. Other than that, it's epic. Oh, JBX is working in this profile just fine. I didn't see the big bed sheet in the sky. And I got a ton of map mods in it. Um, well, I've got a couple project errors. I got a project Arizona, or better Arizona. The Reforma map. The Reforma Noresta, whatever that is, <laughs> I can't quite figure it out, but it's in. I got the Reforma Los Altos, uh, Recon stuff, Hawaii in the Pacific, uh, ProMods Canada. Got all those things in here, and uh, the JBX is behaving itself. Really weird. Testarossa. Exit right ahead. After 100 yards, turn right. Uh oh. Turn right. Uh oh, we didn't 
catch the gear. Well, the customer, yeah, it is urgent. How far do I got to go? 46 miles, so I better get on it. We should be okay. 46 miles. It's usually like around 60 miles, I think. I seem to remember. I haven't been in trouble on a delivery in quite a while, so. I'm kind of glad I got the big honking engine in here. We can get this thing moving. Looks like we're taking the first of the turns up here. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Oh, we're not going to be able to use much of that lane there, so nobody's coming, so we'll just go way out here. Yeah, there's two roads that go uh, west here from this road. Let's see, I don't know if I've been on this one lately. We'll see. The other one, I think, follows the river. Or does this one, too? No, it's the other one by that hotel back there. Yeah, so I haven't been on this one in quite a while. The other road's nice and windy and looks good. See, I don't have that Utah. I wonder if that Utah expansion thingy is still uh, the one that had Bullfrog and all those different places on it. I haven't seen that uh, mentioned by anybody much lately. Oh yeah, and uh, EB, if you're watching, I'm gonna, you know, I got all this stuff going on. It's kind of busy right now, but uh, I'm gonna try and do a, a video on my current map mod order, what I'm using, where I get the map mods, and uh, after 100 yards, turn left. Oh, we're going to the oil rig. stop sign could be in peril. Let's see if we can leave it standing. Oh yeah, he's fine. Yeah, this is a drilling rig. somewhere. Oh, there it is in the distance. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to be late. I think we uh, made good use of our uh, overpowered truck. Oh, they already got a loader. I need another one for her. This one got forks or a bucket? Nothing. 
It looks a lot nicer than the one they got, so. <laughs> it's nice detail on this, this cargo. I hope they don't give me some kind of impossible parking. Well, I guess I'll have the choice the way I have it set up. Because uh, I'm not going to be backing this one up. You have reached your destination. Oh, yeah, I can't do anything with this trailer, sorry, you guys. Oh, no, that's boring, though. Jeez. Yeah, it's just that stinger turns sideways and it stops, stops you in your tracks. out of the way. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. I thought I wasn't going to give it to us. Have a quick look and see how we did there. Yeah, so the back. Oh no, it's fine. That's good enough. All right. Yeah, I'll have to get on this skin and, uh, finish it up oh yeah we're on time awesome use it for a bit of fuel man but then again we're a little heavy so this is another one of those really good trucks like uh, you know it doesn't have the fuel tank detail that uh, the um, FLX has but the drivetrain is really nice in it. It's got really, the diffs and stuff are really nicely modeled. You can see the detail on them there. It, it, look, it looks awesome. Yeah, that's really good. The air tanks, the airlines, everything all run nicely. Great truck. And stylish, you know. I gotta do, oh yeah, that's, uh, Sorry, I, there's so many things I'd like to do with this truck, but it's so hard to paint. Um, yeah, I've talked about it before in other videos, so I won't, I won't drag it on. But uh, it'd be nice if uh, somebody could, I don't know, make a new template for it or something. I don't know what it's going to take to be able to paint it properly. But anyway, um, enough ranting. Uh, as always, guys, appreciate you following along. Hope you got a kick out of that. And as always, uh, appreciate you. Take care and bye for now.